Hi, hi, this is Jay Lynn and I'm joining Battalion in our co-op video. And like we were planning last time, you can see that we are right here and we are working our way in a never eat shredded wheat, a southern, southeastern direction. So we are working down this way towards the Bimby Vale. Why would they name something Bimby Vale? Well, Bambiville is what I call it, between Blue it P Bluefield and Fort Symmetra, which I call Fort Sinatra for some reason, and then we're going to hit up Bluefield, and then Fort Sinatra, Symmetra. Oh, he is our navigator. Sumatra, isn't that a place, too? Kumasatra. No, Sumatra. Sumatra? I don't know. I don't know. No. Sounds like it's Sounds like it should be right. Sumatra? No, there's a place in Nepal. The capital in Nepal just got hit by, and, and I want to give a shout out to all the people that are in Nepal. They just got hit by a 7.8 earthquake. Um, yeah, that was really, really And a lot of their um, tourists, uh, tourist places, they have been devastated at this point, and so... That's got to be really rough on them, on their culture, on their religion. Yeah, our hearts go out to the people in Nepal. They Definitely. Yeah. Um, at this part, uh, or at, at this time. So keep them keep them in your thoughts. But we don't, you know, um, you can never tell what Mother Nature's going to throw at you. So I... There's been a lot of, like, acts of heroism that have been really good. Like, like the whole um, reactor thing in Japan, the, the gentleman that sac basically... They sacrificed their lives to go and try to shut, you know, the reactor down so that no more people got hurt. I mean, just, yeah. I mean, everywhere. And it's not just, you know, being in the military. It's not just in the military. There are people that are doing it in the civilian world, too, you know, and... There's another road right there. Yeah. So, this is more of a dirt type. Well, I wouldn't call it a dirt type road. I would call it a tread type road. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what's been going on lately. It's been, been, you know, and I want to actually talk to you about this the other day. The, the stuff that's been going on with the police, and you know, just like me, me being, me, me being a black black male, I don't, I've never really had a problem with police. You know, I've had my encounters where it's been like, uh, you know, but I've never had like, you know, I got pulled over and automatically assumed, oh, it's because I'm black. They're racist. They're finna do some, you know, some shiny shit to me because I'm black. I've, I've never, like, hey, is that a guy right there? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, oh, it's a zombie. I'm going I'm to go kill the zombie if you want to search this area. But I've never had a problem with the police. But I mean, there's all this stuff going on with the police. And, I don't know, I think part of it is, is, is like, right now, black people are up on the edge, and they're automatically kind of assuming as soon as the police come that they're going to, you know, do something bad. So they're very standoffish. And it's just... I think sometimes we make the situation worse before it even starts. What, what do you What do you think? You know, I think that there is a point to that because people do tend to well. Let's just say not make the situation any better because they, you know, people incite certain things. So they incite certain behaviors. Oh, money. Um. Oh, you got money. Yeah. Awesome. But as, you know, that's part of what I look at when I read, like, my professional journals. I look at how people interact within systems, and it's just amazing that, I don't know, it's, it's sad. But it's also sad that people actually get to a point where they feel that it's okay to behave a certain way, too. Yeah, not all not all cops are bad. Not all situations are gonna end terrible, you know. And that's what kills me. It's like, and I'm, I'm and what it is, I'm reading a lot of comments from people that I know on Facebook, and it's just like the the ignorance is just really, you know. And there are a lot, a lot, of, especially what I'm I'm quite proud of, and you know, it does fill my heart with with a certain sense of pride that a lot of my fellow Marines that are you know, black are saying the same thing because we, we did security forces, we did gate guard, you know, and they're like, you know, sometimes, yeah, you'll get irritated 
that you're being stopped or pulled over. But it's sometimes it's just them doing their job. You, they're not singling you out. It's just you are just that random person that they pull over. Your car number is 64. And it's, and then, but, you know, a lot of people immediately try to turn it into a race thing. Uh, where it's, oh, they pulled me over because I'm black. And that's not it at all. Well, you know, another example is, is in my line of work, you know, I have to deal with customer complaints. And I literally had someone call me and say, well, just because I'm not, you know, a, a, a white male, I'm not getting the same service as this person. And I'm like, it has nothing to do with that. Well, you wouldn't understand. And it's like, you don't know me. You're talking to me on the phone. How do you know what I do and do not understand? And that's them talking to me on the phone. And, you know, it's, it's crazy because these people just have no clue who I am or my life experience. And they just want to pop off. And it's like, where? No where? idea that you're married to a black man. Well, you know, and, and my thing is, is, who I'm married to really shouldn't matter at this point. Well, it's yeah, it's yeah. how how are you going to treat me as a person? And so, how do you treat the next person? Hey, uh, I'm thinking actually, you're right. I'm since we're starting to get a lot of stuff. Let's swing more um south uh, southeast, and we'll head over to the safe zone before we swing back over there. I didn't, of course. I didn't think this was going to be as lucrative. I could still go. I could still easily go there and raid stuff, but I'm getting to the point where I don't want to. I don't want to. Let me rephrase that. I don't want to get to the point where I have to pick and choose what I want to bring, since I have. Well, yeah, I agree. And the other thing is, is that I want to be able to stock up. Oh yeah. You we know. We found gear quite quickly. How are you doing with drink? I just drank it. I have a. Oh, let me go ahead and purify this water. Mm -hmm. I have one bottle of purified water, and oh gosh, that's it. Oh, a bottle of uh, uh, pale juice, a pally juice. Mm -hmm. Let me drink that. And then drink okay, that. because I'm looking, and I have. I mean, I drunk until I'm almost full. Yeah, I can. If you can spare some water, I and I have that. three liters of water. <laughs> oh, well, I could definitely take some drinks, like. Some Pink mist or whatever it's called. There, take that water first, and then um, do here just for you because I know how you love this stuff. There. Oh yeah. I oh, dropped two of one. them. Sweet, little sweet. It's the sweet one. I knew you were gonna go there. Of course. Break into the channel. Okay. That should suffice for now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and head, uh, we'll hit this, we'll go south, and then we'll hit this next square, we'll go into uh, E10, and then we'll hit boom boom, and then we'll go... Oh, right. I see where we are. I lost me on the map. I forgot on the big red arrow. But anyways, I'll do some more plus, I'll do more plus I don't want this to be all morbid and depressing. Like, mm. You Come know on. what? You, you know, when we play video games to escape the reality of the world sometimes, so. It is nice we, to talk... But well, you know what, though? We play games to have fun. Mm -hmm. um, we also play games to interact with other people because on the other games we play, we're in guilds. The We play games and we um, play them with our children every now and then when they do their homework on time. I'm just saying that was a hint for them. I don't know if y'all caught that. But, you know, looking at this this game, this is something that I could really roll with because it's pe because it's pretty. And I will tell you, here's the bias. That's just the girl in me. It's pretty. And believe me, she's all kinds of girls. Okay, there you are. Like, uh, girls, I make up in dresses and brassieres and who's oh, yeah, you're way back there. Bustier. Yeah, like and I'm seeing people. Bustier. I'm seeing people talk about shooting other people. That PL Sig H. He's the one that, that was, uh, right that was peeping us out. Yeah. 
So I'm going to start checking places when we roll up on them. Well, did you make those bullets for your gun? No. Okay, wow, that was that's that's kind of foolish to do. You run around with a gun with no bullets. Go ahead and make the bullets right now. I don't What's have you? the stuff for the bullets. What do you need? I need everything. Okay, I, what is everything? Chemicals, metal, glass, stone, here. and tools. We have been running past all kinds of stuff here. You can break this, um, uh, what can you break down for chemicals? I know you can break something down for chemicals. That's why I've been stopping and grabbing stone. I haven't seen you stop and Huh? I haven't stopped and seen you get stone at all. You are so fibbing. What? Um, I know there's something you can break down for chemicals. Yeah, there's different medications and stuff. Yeah, homebrew penicillin. You need penicillin, or how about some cold syrup? No, those are medical. A um, bully base bag. But let's go see what this camp holds. I, mean, I do like that. I will admit, I do like the fact that you can actually, you actually will get sick in this game. Like, you have not only to deal with zombies and you know asshole players. You got to deal with like getting cold and getting a cold because of you being cold. Uh, they were playing. I read somewhere when I was perusing, um, you know, looking uh, up some information about this game, where like, if you get wet, you, you're going to, uh, it's going to affect your character. Like, being wet will make you cold and you can get sick because you're wet for too long. Ooh, red coat. Red coat. Aluminium baseball bat, because I like it. I'm going to go what over here that? to the winter beggar. Did you hear that? Oh, that was pretty terrifying, son. I'm like, I can't. Like, oh, no, don't want to go past that. Dilinix. Oh, chocolate chips. Are you in the tent? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This thing is arriving real low. Man, you don't need that. You didn't here. get the Tylenex in here? No, he's got Dayton's on his rib. What? This is actually a pretty pimp. I wouldn't mind having one. This is actually pretty neat. It's got a shower, a bed, and yeah, a toilet. Ooh, a little kitchen area. This is this is a nice one. Did you close that door. You can lay that. This is a bed. I know I, my friend had one of these. I know this is a bed. You can fold the table up, and there's a bed here. This thing right here folded down. And you have this bed, of course. And then all up in here is storage areas. And then you, this folds out through the bed, but there's also a storage area there. And you can lay these all the way back, with the exception of the driver. But I know you can lay the passenger one all the way back. That's we are nice. in E10, by the way. Yeah. So we're heading towards the safe zone? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, so we're going to hit this other tent right here in E10. Yeah, and then... Um, and then, then the thinking, one in F11. F11, and then we'll go to the a little uh, pass the little right here. Cre crevice. The pass, yeah. Yep. And then down into the, okay. Yeah, it seems like the best course of action. At Chan. Well, At aren't Chan. we going the wrong way? No. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm falling. I'm looking at my, um, into my other, into my arrow. That's hard. It's hard sometimes to see your arrow when you're, like, standing next to a structure. Like, I'm looking on the map, and I was standing by the tent, and I just saw, like, the one little point. So that's why I got a compass. You know, I might move better. I should just use my compass. But I got it for. Yeah, Mr. Land Nav. How's that back in your face? Land Nav, big douche. You know the hate of them. I wonder how we miss this. He's large. He large. He be at VG. 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 That water looks like it's got some like an oily film on it. You can see all the rainbow colors. Normally, you you see that in on um, like Did you hear that? Water. Well, sounded like a click. Yeah, it sounded like two. So, I think it's that was a real life click. Okay. Okay. Yeah, one of the things that I will definitely say, seeing the um, text scroll by, I am going to, that's why I'm going to cover global, 
Yeah, that's... Uh, and we try, you know, every now and again we make concerns for the moment, you know, of course, many, you know, keep PG-13. And there are words you can say, and it's still, you know, curse words you can say, it's still PG-13. There's just certain things just... Yeah. You just don't say. Yeah. You know, we're aimed, like, way oh, south. Yeah, yeah, way south of it. Of that. I got the gum bumping. Mm. So we're going to have to go back across this river. Mm. So we were doing a river crossing in Quantico, right? And it was, uh, well, we had to make a, a, a road bridge. And that, first of all, getting a road, I mean, we've never done a road bridge or made a road bridge or had to traverse a road bridge. Mm -hmm. Setting it up properly to accommodate the weight of money that packed, it's very, very hard to do. So we made this road bridge. You really, really rickety uh, road bridge to traverse a pretty substantial body of water. And, of course, we put it up there, and no, everybody's like, you know, I don't want to go first. Uh, you know. Do you see to our right, somebody's building a thing up there? Yeah, I saw that. I don't even pay attention to the structures. But I see them, and then I just, okay. But we built a rickety one at Fort A.T. Hill. And uh, it was it was pretty, pretty cold. And nobody wanted to cross it after we had gotten it up. But I was like, you know, I'm going to wait. I, I, I went second. And I was smart. I was like, I'm not going to go first. I don't want to be the first guy. But I don't want to be the last guy to go because the uh, plan, large pack. Hey, come here. I, I got another plan. Oh, cool. Here, I'm going to drop this for you. I don't want it. Oh, no, no. Oh, I almost couldn't learn recipe. Oh, that would made me so mad. But, um, so we're traversing. I, I go across second. Because I was like, I'm going to go across second and get it done. So, we made it. I went across. And then, a, we had a guy named Robertson with us. And nice. he was a rather hefty individual for a Marine. Okay, there's two zombies. I'm going to need your help. Okay, I'm coming. Just, Here I am. Where's the second one? like a hurricane. Okay, you're not over where I am, uh, apparently. See him. Well, I saw the one just standing there. Okay, the situation is handling. I got it. Some beast mode. Well, oh, did, did you take off? Because I'm still at the tent. Yes, I, I take search and everything that we need to do. Huh? You will pick up everything. I only pick up this or the items that I have. Baby, it was food. I got it. Here I come to save you. I will rescue you. I'm killing a zombie myself. What are you talking about? Knight in shining plate chest armor here. What is he holding? Epi oh, and you're leaving the epinephrine? You don't allergic tomatoes. You don't uh. allergic tomatoes. You're just going to leave those there. If I had a tomato related incident, I would have perished and you would have gone, oh, well, I didn't have any epinephrine. I have Check, epinephrine. Please. I have epinephrine. How much epinephrine do you have? I have like five sticks. I'm like scared. I don't even feel. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Like <laughs> some games, I, I have I have such an uh, allergy. Allergy. I have such an allergy. I have such an allergy to tomatoes that I don't even in game. I'm kind of like magoo about picking them up, which is stupid. It's like I don't like tomatoes. What restaurant? Did we you at? run down this hill? I went down the hill. Okay. Wow. Towards the okay. river? Yeah, we're, we're... No, stop. Stop. I will come to you, and then you will follow me, and then you go the right way. I would like making sure I run directly in front of you as we go I'm off. going to this camp over here, which is what we said we were going to do. Okay, well, you were going a weird way. I was running in the Iowa B lobby straight to the camp. Hmm. You ate, I can't remember what restaurant it was. But you got, she got, my wife got, um, Taquito Towers or something like that. Spring Rolls. No, it wasn't Spring Rolls. They were, they were. They were Taquito. There was something Mexican, because I can eat, I've eaten Spring Rolls all day. It was like Taquito Towers or something like that, or beef, something. Well, it had tomatoes in it. Yeah, but it was, it was. It was our first, one of our first dates. I was at Applebee's by the mall. Was in the Apple? mall. In the mall, yeah. Yep, in Michigan. What, what was that? Harvest? Oh, no. 
Yeah, and I, I just like was talking, and I wasn't even thinking about it. And Are I reached you at the over, camp? Yes, I am. I reached over and grabbed one. You know, I was talking, and uh, you were like, "These are good." And I was like, oh, yeah. So I reached over, not even thinking, and grabbed one. I yep. took a bite. And seconds after it hit my lip, my tongue went numb. And I started, and I like, Ooh, spit it out. And then she kind of freaked out a little bit. And she's like, oh, my God. You can't. Your mom's going to kill me if you die. <laughs> you know, the first time we meet. You know. I told him I was okay. going to resurrect him. There's and then kill him. If he killed nothing, him, he died. Nothing else here worth getting. No. Nope. Maybe this wrench. So I'm getting I'm going this way. I'm gone. So you see me? Oh, there you are. So yeah, that was terrifying. And that's how fast it happens. It literally, like, it'll touch my lips, and it'll start. My lip will start to tingle, and I, my tongue starts to swell up a little bit. And so I was talking. I was kind of talking to my tongue you know, for a little bit, but yeah, I'm just I anaphylactically I, allergic. I had an incident where someone close to me that knew I couldn't eat tomatoes made linguines with and put fresh tomatoes on top knowing and i can eat like pasteurized tomatoes i don't know what it is but this person put tomatoes on top and i ended up in the hospital because i i it wasn't a a nibble i i because oh i love lasagna so much so and, and i called this all the linguines you'll be yeah you'll figure it out Anyways, I like took a big and I chewed and, and like I and, and, and swallowed and soon I was like, and I could feel my like throat closing up and oh it was it was horrifying. That was one of the scariest times I think when like I could feel my my throat swelling up and like I knew I was going to start suffocating. Oh, it was so scary, so scary. Should we? Because we're getting about time. You want to just be lined to the... Um... Yeah, be lined down to yeah. Bambiville. Yeah, we'll be lined down to be lined. <laughs> we're cutting short. As a matter of fact, we're not even going to make it. So, I'm going to get up over here and take a gander real quick. We'll go from up there. Uh... Oh, bushes in the face. One of the things that I noticed that they do not have on here right now is your endurance. When you run, your endurance does not decrease. Because that's the white circle outside your food and your drink bar. And your endurance does not drain. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? If you're out of running? From running. Oh, if you sprint, well. Where's your sprint at? I think you hold shift or something. I'm, I'm holding shift right now. Okay, because there's something you do to hold shift. I know because I I was doing it, and I changed my keys around. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. See if I can see the place. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see that pretty. right there? Uh, yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh, there's something over there. Stay far away from that. That's the air flow. That's the air pill. Okay. Well, my name is Sir Battalion, and I'm joined by Shaylin. We are able to call. I want to thank you guys for joining us today in, in this latest adventure of Aftermath. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Take care.